Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is an episode of the RMS Beauty Blush and I do have uh, their gloss as well and we're going to be trying some of the new Hermes Beauty Natural Finish Foundation. They sent me an example, a sample with the blush and gloss, so I want to try it out. And they did send me something else. Oh yeah, the mascara. So let's try all of that together. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking if they sent something else, but no, I think it was the Hermes and I mean the mascara and the foundation. So I'm excited to try those two things with the other two items. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and ring the bell on the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, I just want to mention, and I have it right here, on the Sephora cell video, I did um, get the RMS The Color Maiden Blush and I loved it so much that that's why now I got the um, the French Rosé. I mentioned I was going to, and so I did get it. I got this directly from RMS because I have a 20% off. I think still uh, now, maybe it's ending because of when I'm gonna upload this video. But anyhow, they do have, there's several people that have like a 20% off coupon, so if you reach for, research for that, you probably get it, or other cells will be coming up, I'm sure. And anyhow, I just wanted to try how it looks on me, and especially the foundation, because I wanna see if I order before the sale ends. So let's try it together. All right, so they sent this. They do have many colors, according to the sample card. Do, 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 do. Now, the one they sent is zero, zero, so it's not the lightest. The lightest is three zeros. So they sent this zero, zero, and then 22, which will be around here, and then darker and darker, and you can see more or less there, the colors. So obviously these two are, you know, not, and this is too dark for me, more medium. I think this might be perfect for me. Although, I have to say, many years ago, while I open it, I'll tell you this, Many years ago, I got into the RMS and I order many items. I remember they only would sell them like in boutique, sort of clothing stores. Like I think, what was that one that was very hippie-ish looking? It was not Anthropology or one of those stores that have very hobo um, kind of style and they had this. Oof, I just opened. So, I tried them and I thought I was going to be in the lightest numbers and I ended up being uh, a little, yeah, see, this is zero, zero and it's lighter than my skin. Surprise, surprise. That's what I remember. That's where I was going with it. So let me open the next one, which is 22. The only thing is, here it is, is liquidy. I thought it was going to be a little more creamy. So it's liquidy. So I have to be very careful here. So let me open this second one. Um, because I might be 22. Now this is this is zero, 00 and then 22. If I remember correctly, I was like an 11 or something like that. They have, yeah, ah, my memory is not serving me right, but I might be an 11 and not a 22, which, which won't, we won't have, but maybe a combination. See, this is the 22 and this is the 00. zero. You see, I'm kind of in the middle. I probably will be like an 11. So let's just try it. I'm going to try the 22 on this side with a brush because that's the method I prefer. So let's do this. Oh my God. Um, all right. One of these days, I want to see if it covers all that redness. My skin is very red today. And I think I know why. Uh, what I applied this morning, uh, if you've seen my skincare routine video, I use Mila Morsi, and I love, love, love her stuff. It's not inexpensive, it's a little on the expensive side. <clears throat> I'm sorry. But um, it does wonders for my skin, wonders. I can immediately see the difference when I use it and when I don't use it. 
So today, believe it or not, I apply something that is in the expensive side too, which is the Chanel Sublimage um, and the eye cream, Sublimage La Cream U. So I try, I've been trying this too. This is supposed to be very good. This is La Bomb. So I put my usual serum and then I apply that this week. And it is very nice moisturizing. You don't feel it. It doesn't stick and stay creamy in your skin, but it does irritate my redness. And so I much prefer the one I use for Mila Morse. But I've heard great things about this. It is very good quality. However, I think, uh, well, that's what it is. I just wanted to mention because I've been trying it and, uh, and that is my comment on it. <laughs> so, so far I've been using the 22 on this side. It looks amazing and it feels delicious. Wow. I might discover a new favorite. Hmm. Well, I will try it through the day and I'll let you know. I'm going to try zero zero, which I know is lighter, but I just want to put it on the other side of my face just to see what happens. Right? So what I'm doing is applying from here and I'm putting it on my arm first. I guess I could do this as well. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but it's just more control when you apply it somewhere and then you put it in your face. So here I have to clean my brush. Let me clean this. All right, so now, yeah, you see how much control you feel when you apply, you put the brush on something else and then apply it, that when you do what I just did. Nevertheless, oof. So this is zero, zero. Now I'm taking it from the, ah, right there. Obviously it's a different color. This is zero, zero, and this is 22. I think 22 is gorgeous. Now I'm curious about if the 11 will work, but I think this one just works delicious because let's look at here. Yeah, so there's the 22. It looks a little bit darker on here. This is a zero, zero. And then you see we have the, I think I might be this or even, hmm, maybe I'm the 22. I'll be very curious about 11, but maybe I'm the 22. What do you think? Is it too dark or is it just perfect? It is a little dark. Yeah, look at my neck. But then this color, it is a little cool. So I think I might be 11. In any case, here it is. What I'm gonna do now that I did all that is I'm gonna put a little bit of the zero zero over here just to <laughs> equalize them and a little bit of the 22, especially on my red and on the areas where I want a little more coverage. I hope I'm not going too fast and you didn't get to see how this look before I started moving along. Um, I've been doing so, 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 so many things lately um, that my speed on how to do things seems to be, you know, a little faster. <laughs> I noticed that while I'm doing these videos because I used to take my time and show and doing things like that. And I noticed that now it's going more in an automatic, like, oh yeah, do, 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 do. And I think it has to do with the speed that I have to be on right now because there's so many things going on in my life, which hopefully I will do a video and update you um, about all of it if you're interested. But oh boy. And yet, uh, doing these videos is my oasis, is really where I relax from everything. <laughs> and then I can just be here with you. It's something I love, right? So there you have it. Um, I like this very much. I really, really like it. I am very curious to try the number 11 just to make sure that it's not my preferred color. Uh, 22 worked, zero, zero was too light. The combination seems that now I feel I have too much 
because just the first layer was more than enough. But even at too much, it doesn't feel cakey or thick or anything like that. So I will pin down below how it feels through the day. Um, it doesn't look very, very, very blurring. So if you're big on large pores, I would suggest to maybe use a primer. I don't have that issue, but I am seeing a little bit of something. Probably that will go away with a little bit of powder, but I'm talking minute. So this has a little more coverage than for example, the Evorian. Um, might be similar to the number one of Chanel, but believe it or not, I this feels more uh, comfortable in the skin in the sense that I already forgot that I have it on. I mean, totally forgot I have it on. And to me, that's a huge plus. So I am really interested in the performance of this through the day, and I'm really interested in going and trying the other color for sure. So there you have it. Now let's continue to the blush. So if you want to see how I apply uh, this um, Maiden blush, please check out my video. I'll link it down below. I think it was in the Sephora sale. I'm just swatching it here for you. I love, love, love this cinnamon. And if you see that video, I did combine it with um, the Westman Atelier um, Brulee. And this is supposed to be a highlighter, but I use it as a contour in combination and it just looks gorgeous. Because these blushes have so much illuminating and highlight properties, uh, even though this is highlighting, it just goes perfect and you don't see like very much highlight in this. They just work well. So at this moment, we're gonna apply this new one. I haven't tried this, so I'm gonna swatch it first. It's very pink. Like, I love it. There it is. And so let's try it together. Now, I'm going to try the Sonia G Hinoki set brush. You know I love this brush. And let's just do ta ta ta. Top it a little bit and apply. It's very funny because the old times you're supposed to swatch. I'll do the swatch in the other. But the new technique where everybody's doing this is this topping mechanism. And for me, the way I first discovered this topping mechanism, believe it or not, this is how I associate it with I'm trying to look for it, was when this brush, Refer uh, 24, came out that was very concise. Um, I started seeing that everybody was doing that kind of touch thing for the blush. At least that's where I started seeing it the most often. Nowadays, everybody does it with every brush. And as you see, I'm doing this. I know the other brush I'm gonna use because everybody on YouTube is talking about the Angie Hadden Flashy BK Beauty blushes. I review them and the set comes with most of eye brushes and then this one. And I love all the eye brushes, but I didn't do the best review on this, so. I've been trying it because I want to jump in the wagon with everybody. So we're going to try it on the other cheek. Again, this new technique. I thought I was going to apply it swatching it. I think in the RMS website they say like that. Or I think the new technique is wonderful for all the new blushes and new things. It just works. So I'm just showing you with this brush and you know my favorite brush. So. I have found that this brush is great for bluffing, blush, bluffing when um, something gets too harsh or too strong. And what I just noticed right now is, if you notice, this is came across a lot lighter and and you know just smoother. This one is a little more ramp up, like on top of the skin. Do you see the difference? So I think both are beautiful. I prefer this because it gives me that ramp up and I and I figure that throughout the day it will start reciting and so it will look more smoother. 
but this is beautiful too, especially if you have like a full eye or something like that, right? So, I mean, this is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. Um, but there you go. So enough said, right? So now I'm in the wagon. I'm using it. Um, let me ramp up this again. There you go. I'm gonna apply it a little bit in my eye as I always do. All right. So I love, love, love these blushes, RMS. I do want to get something, uh, one of the other colors. I'm just debating because the Mai Mai um, or Mai Tai, something like that is very orange. I don't know if you'll compliment me. And then there's the Sangria and the Pomegranate. I'm in between those two, leaning more to the pomegranate, but yeah, I'm just there if it's enough with this two, and then later perhaps buy some of the others, but I am tempted because they're so wonderful. I mean, look at that, right? Okay, so the next thing I want to do, they have new lip liners. Um, I haven't, I didn't order one, I might, later on. Not at this moment. I have so many lip liners. Right now, some of my favorites are the Victoria Beckham. I have number two and number three. Number three is a little more red. Number two is more neutral. But I have them in my purse. So what I applied this morning, which I don't know what I did with it, is a Bobbi Brown. Those are wonderful too. And of course, I can't find it. But there's so many wonderful. I mean, <laughs> so let's Pick another one. Let's see what this is. I know this is next. Let's see, Bobby Brown. Oh, this is the one I got. So there's a uh, rum raisin. This is so old. Um, I don't know if they still have this color, but this used to be a lovely color. So I'm applying it there. You see? Mm-hmm. I applied a little bit before coming into the camera, and a little bit here, just because I was so plain, right? And uh, why? Because this is sort of a gloss. Uh, it's a little thick. And I just want to protect the boundaries of my lips, being that I'm over 50. But I don't know if that is really necessary. But uh, I only tried it once. You see that I squeeze it. And I really liked it. And I really like this color. This is uh, Lip Lights Lip Lights. I guess that's what it's called. And this is the color Rhythm. Application, gliding to the lips, wear alone or over any RMS Beauty or product for a natural gloss fit. Okay, so I what I did when I tried it, and I'll swatch it, is I squeeze. See, it's very creamy and thick. Oh, I was doing it over here. It's very creamy and thick, and this might be too much. Ooh, I want to save the product. And then you can't sort of directly applied in your lips. Of course, you can put it and then use your finger, but you can do this. Oh my God, I love it. I love it with first application. And I'm loving it now. Why? It feels natural. It does have a a flavor, not a tasty flavor. It's just a flavor of the creaminess or, or Vaseline or, it's not uh, um, uncomfortable or not good. It's not a strong, it's not a fragrance flavor. It's just a, the product flavor, but it's not bad because um, I feel bad, but one time I ordered these Glossier lipsticks and they had a, a scent probably because they're natural. It just, I didn't like. Now I haven't tried it again and it's not fair, but this is not like that. This just tastes, you know, there's a taste to it because of the product. I hope I'm, it's, it's not a, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> it just looks nice, feels nice. Uh, the flavor feels natural and, um, and I love it. I love this color. It gives it a little glossy, not too much, but it doesn't feel like when you apply a gloss and it feels more like a, 
a very creamy balm. And the next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be comparing all of these glasses, uh, different, you know, I have Clarines, I have the Lip Maximizer, I have the oils, I have the R, uh, not Merit, um, and I have many others here, so I will be comparing glasses. So, but this one, I will put it up there. I really like it. I will put this in my purse, and that is kind of a huge benefit when I put things on my purse. That means I really love them. The one I have there right now is a Chanel Balm. <laughs> so that tells you something. So I really, really like this, and I really, really like this color, and I really, really like this blushes. Okay. So the last thing I didn't mention, I was gonna show the mascara. And I'm wondering if um, I should try the Give. Yeah, I'll try the Give. Um, I know that RMS has eye shades kind of creamy like this one. So that will be something to maybe order in the future. The pictures I've seen looks gorgeous. They have a little luminosity, probably like the blush. But when I went to Sephora, I got this Give. This is from Gwen Stefani brand. And you know I have her whole brand. And, uh, and these are new. She also has some with shimmer and she also has some that are toppers with a lot of sparkle. This is the matte color. Uh, I think she had two matte colors. This and, um, I'll put it here, and one that is a little bit darker. Oh shoot, it's close. Um, which is more like pecan, like dark brown. And, uh, but I just didn't feel like having a lot of browns in my eyes lately. So I just bought this, that is the color. You see how it is orangey and then it can get a little darker. You really, I mean, look the amount I place there. This is the, this is the name, Bouncing Shoes. Doesn't have a sparkle or shimmer or anything like that. And you need this little, I mean, literally. Now what I do is apply just on my crease. You see that? And then if I really want something else, I'll poke a little sparkle there. You see that? It just gives me a little something. You can do all over the lid. There's my dog. You can be all over the lid if you want. Let's do that. An all-in-one. And if you apply on top of it, it really starts ramping up, so you really can make it very colorful or very subtle like this. So, and the other great thing about this is um, that, it I mean, once it sets, oh my God, it will stay all day. So talking about a benefit with this. Okay. There you go. Of course you can then go with the brush and make it nice. And, but you can just do the finger as well. And just to finish up the, the look, let's apply the RMS blush. And I'll apply a little bit in the lid just to tie a little bit of the pink and give it a little bit of highlight to my eyelid, all mobile, because the blush itself has highlight. And look at that, beautiful, right? Um, and let's try the mascara to finish this look. Oh, wow, I really like this new uh, items. This is really up my alley, this natural sort of look. All right. And I have to say, after talking for 20 minutes or so with you guys with the new foundation, I really like it. I, I forgot it's there, and I think it smooths, it takes the redness away. So let's see how the mascara works. Never tried it before, but since it's clean beauty, I think my eyes would appreciate this. Uh, lately, the mascara that I use that doesn't bother my eyes has been the Trish McAvoy. I think I had mentioned that, which is a surprise. But all my other mascaras, I've been kind of staying away because my eyes have become so sensitive. Um, so let's see how this one works. 
I'll pin it down below if anything. Um, but I am very hopeful because there's a reason why all this is clean beauty and why this is really targeted to 50 and over. because they know our sensitivities and they know our needs and they know that we want gentle, uh, just a little bit. So far what I'm seeing, thick brush, is um, that you can see, look how dark the inner looks. So definitely looks like volume. I don't see a lot of elongating of course, my lashes look, but they seem more volume, that elongation. You know, it will depend on your preference. Very, very dark. So it does bring a lot of light to your eyes. And let me just read real here. It says straight up volumizing peptide mascara. So there you go. It's volumizing. I can definitely see. I mean, look how much. It looks there, which is great. All day wear, all day care. So there you go. Very curious of how this will last through the day, if you'll drop any black dots like some, and if it's hard to take off. So if any of those come through, I will pin it down below. If not, I really like it. And look at the give, oh, it's lovely. And look at the blush. And look at the foundation. Win, win, win. Really, really like it. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you have this. And any other comment? Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. And please comment down below. And so happy to be here with you. All right. See you next time. Bye.